Hi, I'm Indiana Montes. I'm covering the North Carolina Jazz Festival. This is the 39th edition. Um, because uh, next year is going to be such an important landmark. You know, it's the 40th anniversary. I am going to produce a video trying to interview some of the attendees, uh, the musicians, and the organizers because 40 years is a long time. Quando um coração que está cansado de sofrer encontra um coração também cansado de sofrer é tempo de se pensar Thank you very much, Sandy Evans, for all she does. Every detail she takes in, and she's really loving to all of us. And this is, this gives a, such a plus to this whole festival, you know, and a very sweet touch. Thank you. been lucky to be here several times, almost nine times I think, and I've just really enjoyed watching how this festival continues to develop and also uh, mainly their educational programs. And now, just yesterday, did a vocal master class, there's, I mean, how many students participated? We had 72 students. 72 students! Yes. Yes. That's great! Yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> That's yeah. a couple of bands, That's several, yeah. <laughs> a whole marching band, yeah. Yes. It's a big community that comes together, you get to know the patrons, you get to know the audience members, and to get to know the students in the neighborhood is just adds another level of just kind of love and understanding of the city, the place you're in. Well, I'm from Canada, uh, British Columbia, Canada, and I am a product of good public school band programs and excellent jazz societies that supported me. Uh, but I've been living in New York City for almost 10 years now, and it's been a really uh, wild adventure. I do lead my own groups very often, doing a mixture of you know, 100 years of jazz music plus original music. I've recorded several albums, and I just kind of keep moving forward, you know. I'll let my curiosity and love of music, you know, propel me forward. I get a lot of really incredible experiences because of it. in Arizona and Utah and Las Vegas and California and that's next that's next <laughs> week. So how do you like uh, Wilmington? I love Wilmington. I really do. I love that this city is so beautiful. I mean we get to look over the water here at this at this hotel. Um, and the shops. I, I haven't. I have to go out this afternoon and go check out the shops. I always I like have a good. I actually I really don't like shopping, but this city historically I found oh. something every time. Oh, <laughs> so I'm yeah looking forward to it. It's just good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's much cheaper than New York. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. What, how have been your experience of working? Well, Bria, it's been amazing because Bria is willing to go to local schools and she'll give a concert. Like yesterday, they gave a concert at Rolling Rice, a local uh, middle school, and there was about 250 kids there. And, um, you know, she gets to show her craft and talk with the students back and forth and do a little show and tell. And, they absolutely love it. Yeah, we also went to GLOW, uh, I guess the girls' oh. leadership school, and that was really special to bond with, you know, especially girls and, yeah. and with a couple of different musicians and stuff. And it's very special. Thanks so much. Thank All right. Bye. Thank you. It's fortunate that we can have a festival that we can focus on just jazz, because now the larger festivals, you have to accommodate many genres and sometimes that can be good and sometimes it's difficult for people that are more purist. So, this is, I think that's where it's going. It's kind of like with investing. It's just becoming one big diversified portfolio. I love Wilmington. I love being by the water and uh, I, like, I just, I like it because I live in New York City so I'm always trying to get out of the city. And When I was here, I played with a lot of Wilmington musicians that I always admired and loved playing with. Benny Hill, uh, Doug Irving, um, uh, Bobby Russell, uh, Frank Buongiorno was at the school there, Gerald Charnett, Herman Burney, I mean, Larry Price, uh, Larry Thomas, who's the elocutioner of information. 
in Wilmington. I mean, there's, there's a powerhouses here in Wilmington, and a lot of a lot of musicians that I learned from and admire are from here. And how do you feel knowing that next year is going to be the 40th anniversary? Ooh, that's great. Wilmington Jazz Festival. That I mean, is the really. North Carolina Jazz Festival. That's really awesome. That's really awesome. I think that's wonderful, and I'm glad that people are still sponsoring and, and putting forth. Uh, efforts and support to to continue this legacy. It's at legacy status now. You know. and, and how was your experience with the educational program? The educational program, I, th I think it's good and I think uh, like the festival it's in a growing stage. It's continuing to grow and maybe it'll start to expand its footprint over the years. Which is the most important thing, right? That's most important. Yeah, That's absolutely. The legacy to the That's new right. generation. That's right. Because when you let the new generation go, that's a new harvest coming up, you know. playing I haven't been doing a whole lot uh, other than playing because we were, we were busy yesterday we had uh, uh, a concert at a school in the afternoon and then I taught uh, a master class here uh, in the later afternoon and then when we played last night so I haven't just been playing yeah well thank you for all what you do for the youth because it's so important to it's very to, important. that to, to create the awareness about Absolutely. all things jazz yes. so just Festivals will have a future. Absolutely. I, I, I'm always happy to work with the kids. And uh, how did you see, how was the feedback from them? Great. They, uh, the, the kids, that, well, we, we played in an elementary school, which I think is a, a perfect age to uh, expose the children to jazz. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the, the, the master class I taught were, were mostly middle school, middle school and high school. Uh, saxophone players. And they, were, they weren't really into jazz, but they were very receptive to what I was saying. Oh, one thing, I, I'm thinking on the future generations and events like this. How to attract them to come, buy tickets, and participate? Because if you think it over, the majority of the people that come here are like above. Yeah. 60 or yeah, 65? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like the younger one. <laughs> yeah, well, that, uh, that's No, no, not, 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 let's not uh, exaggerate it, but... It, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a problem that I, I don't know the answer, the, the answer to. However, uh, you know, I've been in the business for a long time, and when I, was, when I was young playing these festivals, it was still the same age crowd. So maybe maybe you have to turn sixty before you like jazz. Oh, interesting. You 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 came to jazz early. Oh, you know <laughs> I, I I have been working in tourism all, for all my life practically. I mean my adult life, but my career started in the Aruba Jazz and Latin Music Festival. I was you know a journalist uh -huh. in Venezuela and I was assigned to cover the Aruba Jazz and Latin Music Fe Festival. And since then I'm I'm involved because music and tourism go together yeah. because you come here you see oh Wilmington I'm sure yeah. that you want to walk it's by a beautiful city I, I like Wilmington walk. very much yeah. and the hotel is, you know, yeah, yeah. You know are almost I think more more than 100 reservations yeah. you know, for, yeah. for this festival yeah this festival is very well attended that, that's uh, <clears throat> I've found that in, in the business that there are places that really do it right and and these uh, Sandy Evans and, and the people that run this one do it right. They, they, they know how to attract the, the crowd, which is but great. However, we could have more people. Of course, and we always. could have a, a, a bigger 
diversity sure. of uh, people, but you sure. know. So it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult to market such an event, even that we have the best musicians and yeah. such an interesting venue. And but my question is, does is this happening everywhere? Uh, well, yeah, that, that's a universal problem: is the, how to how to get uh, how to get new people and younger people in, in the audience. Um, some some you know, it depends. On, it depends on the, the venue there. There are clubs in New York City where, where it's all young people coming out to listen to jazz. It's possible. It's possible to do. I wish I had the answer, but. And which is the difference uh, between live jazz music and the other music, like a rock concert? Why a rock concert is like a lot of young people, and a, a jazz festival? You know, the attendees are mostly you know older people. Well, I, I think jazz is more complicated. It, it's tougher. It's tougher for your mind to process, and, and you know, we we live in a world where simplicity rules. So, you know, the the, the pop music has been getting simpler and simpler and simpler for for a hundred years. <laughs> so. That's a great answer. Yeah. And uh, the, the way that you and the other uh, musicians intermingle here, is that a special for, to, to, to this venue? Is is something that you have in every festival that you well, attend? Well, this is what, you know, what they call a jazz party. And, and what, what the, when the, the idea of the jazz party originated, <coughs> the idea was everyone stays in the same hotel. Everyone gets together and hangs out and and uh, parties together and so so it, it is sort of common at, at at jazz festivals like this to for everyone to hang out. We we all hung out pretty late last night. <laughs> <laughs> well that's a great thing. I'm happy As you can see in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy that you had a great time, and uh, what are your expectations for next year? Because the 40th anniversary. The 40th anniversary. Well, I, you know, I would love to be here for it. Um, congratulations for 40 years. That's amazing. Yeah, no, they they have been doing a wonderful. That's older job. than we are. <laughs> Combined. Exactly. 